Florida's presidential preference primary is less than two weeks away. Uh, we're encouraging all the students to get out and vote. I'm Terry Gilliam in the College Town neighborhood. Early voting has kicked off here in the Florida State Student Union. I'm finding out why early voting can be an easier way to make your voices heard. Now, you know, being in college, being 18 years old, I'm able to do so for the first time ever, and I'm excited to do that. Freshman FSU student Trenton Bueller explains what he's excited to do. Go vote. <laughs> Florida's presidential preference primary is in full swing. Leon County has 10 on-site locations for voters to let their voices be heard early, one of them being the campus of Florida State University. The goal is to make early voting convenient for students and Seminole staffers, meaning shorter wait times. Well, I feel like in a state like Florida, in a county like Leon County, it's very important to give my opinion. I feel like those votes really matter and I really want to actually express that. Bueller says early voting opportunities coming to his campus makes him feel a special way. It's really cool being able to actually do that. It's going to be really, really, really good for me and really important to me. Since the Florida Democratic Party nominated Joe Biden as their sole candidate and there is no other contest on the ballot in Leon County, only voters registered with the Republican Party of Florida will have a ballot in the Leon County presidential preference primary. We got to speak with Supervisor of Elections Mark Early about the significance of this year's voting process. Every presidential preference primary that has an incumbent that's running again, in Florida, we've not had that party have a, a primary election. So this year, uh, the Democratic candidate uh, is already decided because of the incumbent. And so only the Republican Party is having a primary. Early also says FSU, uh, when we started going on the campus more for early voting, they, their student union was under construction. And so we couldn't get right in the heart of campus. This is going to be our first big election cycle where we are able to get on into the heart of campus at the student union. So we're really happy about that. Though things are new for this year's election, people like Bueller say early voting is not only easy, but it matters. Growing up, it's like all this, you know, political media and you're like, wow, I can't get my voice out, but now I can. Early voting for the presidential primary runs through March 17th. The primary itself is scheduled for March 19th. On FSU's campus, Terry Gilliam, ABC 27.